Last log shows him caught in a storm. Find the radio yet? No, but there's gotta be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? was blown off course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Hmm, sounds pretty desperate. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandit. Let's have some for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately, uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Are you kidding me? You? Come on. <laughs> Sounds like you're scared of someone stepping out of your shadow. Scared of my idiot brother getting himself killed? How about showing me some brotherly love? I got this. I'm not losing you to this fucking ship. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. You're not my bodyguard. I can take care of myself. I'm still the captain of something, and the captain's telling you that I'm going to. All right. You and me, Fliss.
still alive. You gonna go right down there? Pipe down! Let's not draw any attention. You see anything? I don't know where the hell we are. I'll be here by the radio. Hey. This way. Looks like we're in the lower levels of the ship. Someone named Joe was in the sick bay. So it looks like there was some sort of fight and this Charlie went to the brig. 10 day sentence. <laughs> Must have been a big fight. You know your tab is growing by the hour now, huh? Hourly now? I would have thought we graduated to charge it by the minute. Noted. In your invoice. Jesus. Might have been the son of someone on board. Take a look. Look, down there. I think that's the engine room. You're right. Let's go down there. Shit. No more ladder. I can drop the rest of the way. Hey! <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Come on down. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! God damn it! What? Uh, you didn't fucking see that? Right. No. Of course you didn't. See what? Yeah, I think I'm actually seeing clearly for the first time in a while. Nothing jumped out at me. So. The ship was carrying Manchurian gold. 
but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. We know it was unstable and leaked all over the ship. Maybe it's still here. And it's having the same effect on us. Paranoia, hallucinations. That was what this stuff was designed to do. The crew was hallucinating. We knew they were scared of something. Weird stuff freaking everybody out. The officers, they thought it was just jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. All this crazy shit going on, none of it's real. None of it's actually there. Could this have anything to do with the wrecked plane from the dive? It was a search and rescue plane. The whole reason it even came out here was because the people on the ship sent out a distress signal. I guess by the time the plane got here, it was too late. Everyone on the ship had lost their minds, so they shot it down. Who knows what the hell they were thinking, or what they thought they saw. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. This? The ship was anchored. I wonder why. What do you think? Well, whoever mutilated a half-century-old corpse is not right in the head. And they still could be hanging around. We need to keep moving and stay ahead of whoever did that. Hmm. Come on, we should keep moving. cutting out. This thing is barely running. Just throw the switch and let's go back upstairs. Okay. Let's get back up there. We'll have to find a new way up. Help! You have to help us! Do you read me? Please! Please state your situation. Over. We are in danger, okay? We're in a real goddamn mess out here, and we need help now! Over! A recovery mission is being prepped. Please see what side of the vessel you're on. Over. We're on a ship called the Orang Madan. It's an old U.S. freighter. Over. Please repeat. Please repeat. 
Shit! Work! Shit! Come on! Hey, look at this. The rebreather. I bet the fisherman brought it from the Duke. You think it still works? Uh, it's got maybe a few minutes of air left. Worth taking with us? It's gonna slow us down. Mm, no, forget it. It's too heavy to drag along with us. No, we should take it. Parts of the ship are completely underwater. There's no use hiding, you little foot. What's the problem with sharing all that gold, eh? There must be plenty of that to go around, more than enough. And we're all in this together, right? Trying to cut me out of the deal? <laughs> you can't have all the gold. Changing. Stay away! Stay back from the mist! Hey! There's no mist, man! Don't breathe it! Don't breathe the mist! Wait, wh what is this mist? What does it do? It's life! 
bringing things to life that shouldn't be alive. It's inside now. Inside with us, now. You need to slow down. Stop! Stop! It's in one of us, isn't it? Put the gun down now. Why would you say that? Why are you telling me what to do? Yeah, you breathed in the mist. It's happening. I can feel it. Okay. Look, there was something in the last room. A, a, a fog or a mist, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No! No, I, I mean, we held our breath, man. The, the mist is not inside of us. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, good. It's in me. I got the mist in me the whole time. It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can't feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. No, man. There's, there's no mist inside you. I can tell. Stop! Stop lying! You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying. The mist is inside. Fantastic. This just keeps getting better and better. It's a dead end. We have to go back. <laughs> I am not fucking drowning today. No way. Well, this is just riveting. Where are you? Hey! Hey, what's happening? Is everyone okay? Oh, God, please be okay, please be okay. I gotta go after him. Well, we gotta go down there and make sure everything's okay. Jesus, did something go wrong? I'll find them. Make sure they're okay. You stay here with the radio. Come on, what if you die down there? What then? I'm going to stay as far away from trouble as I can, and I'll be back as soon as I find the generator. It'll... it'll be fine. Watch yourself down there. I'll make the call as soon as the radio comes back on, so you better hurry the fuck back.
I swear to God, if I make it through this, I'll never even set foot on a paddle boat again.
Holy fuck! That was... much too close. Okay, so, anybody got any other ideas? <laughs> the Duke's not going anywhere without a distributor cap, so neither are we. Best I can figure it. We got a couple days, maybe more if we can collect some rainwater. I always kind of knew I would die on a boat, but not this shitty boat. Hey, con man. What's up? What's up, Fliss? <laughs> so, what is this thing? Uh, it's a freighter. Uh, abandoned. Uh, originally commissioned during World War II, but repurposed. Sometime. Okay, hey, hey, thank you, Professor TMI. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I was pretty sure that we'd be bringing a few of you back in some body bags. You make getting kidnapped on the high seas look easy. that took our boat, that there was gold. She wanted the gold. That's all this was about. Venturian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. You know, I just keep going over it and over it, and it doesn't make any sense, you know. We're just... And I know what I saw. I just don't believe in whatever it was that I saw. I saw Alex. It wasn't Alex, it was someone else. But they looked just like Alex, and he was sneering at me. Fucking rich kids.
So, um, does anybody else feel like knocking back Frosty? This guy. Yeah. Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing, and that's something, I suppose. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Want to spare me over till another year? Want to spare me over till another year? Want to spare me over till another year? Want to spare me? So out of nowhere, this thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real-life ghost ship here. Whoa. What the hell is this? 